In October of 2012, Maria Kublasing and her dynamic team organized an event called TEDx Youth at Bridgetown, held at the Saloid Erskine Sandyford Complex. A team of 21 local and regional speakers, including myself, were invited to share our journey into our respective careers and lifestyles to an audience of 100 school prefects, dynamically motivating them to ask the big questions in life. It was here that I met Fraser Young and Justin Jeffers. Fraser captivated the audience with his talk on how he scrupulously examined his own life over the last five years and made a conscious decision to set an example of following a self-sustainable, environmentally friendly path. Justin is a landscape architect whose philosophy is that we need to tap into our creativity by rethinking, reclaiming and repurposing the space we live in in order to work with and not against nature, thus saving precious resources. With similar ideas and concepts and a respect for nature that goes beyond just talking about it, Justin has joined Fraser's team with the common aim of saving through leadership Welcome and example. This is where Fraser lives and it's probably the best example I know of modern sustainability. Right, so this is where every this is the powerhouse of Treehouse. Please explain, Fraser, how what what is all of this that I'm looking at? Uh, what you're looking at is a off grid power system which powers the entire house so what you have is the DC coming in from the panels being converted into AC which your house uses so this stuff can piggyback on any house uh, any existing infrastructure um, and pretty much what will happen is the batteries will charge up during the day um, and discharge at night so right now we're at about 80 percent 79 percent and we're taking in about 2.1 kilowatts of energy so what that equates to is, you know, we get to live a modern day uh, lifestyle with all the lights, all the music, the television, um, and an electricity bill which is nominal every month. Um, so a question that comes up uh, quite often is how much money does one of these things cost? And I think the, the real uh, question that people should be asking is, what is the payback of a system like right, this? So right. people treat systems like this as a, an expense. So they treat this like buying a, a vehicle. Um, but when you purchase something like this, you're actually purchasing an asset, which pays you money over the length of its lifetime. So a system like this will pay back for itself in approximately six years and will continue to generate from that point forward for the next 14 years free energy. So if the energy prices go up or the oil prices go up, that payback comes shorter. So you're looking at four or five years if the fuel prices go up. So when you invest in one of these systems, you're making a, a smart financial investment um, as well as something which is going to benefit the planet and Barbados. What type of fish am I looking at here, Fraser? So there's, there's two types in there. There's a golden tilapia. Golden tilapia. And a Mozambique tilapia. And Mozambique tilapia. Both are edible and will be on our plates within probably the next couple months. How many fish do you have to put in, in this tank for this type of system that you have? Right now we're doing uh, the fish density at the lower density, which is about 200 in a 500 gallon tank. Um, the commercial systems would keep a, a one to one ratio, so you could potentially have up to 500 fish in here. Amazing production, improving the quality of life, saving your What life. am I looking at here, Fraser? Dirt, just pure dirt, what's the goodness? Uh, this is magic in here. So this stuff just has so many nutrients. Um, so once this breaks down, um, you can see in here we have these, which are black fly larvae, right. and these and earthworms digest all this material, and they leave their castings, which is pretty much food plutonium. The stuff just blows up when this you put on that. This is a black fly larvae, um, and these are actually what we use as a portion of our fish food. Um, these are 60% protein and 40% fat, so by producing all the inputs for our fish um, on site, we actually save money at the base of our food system, which is the, the nutrients. Where are we now, Fraser? What part of the garden is this? Right now we're in our seedling nursery. So we actually save seed from all the plants that we grow. 
Um, this in turn means that we don't have any outside expenses. We control the expenses and we grow our food from seed to our plate, which saves us money at every stop along the way. Fraser keeps us updated on Facebook about the abundance of fruit and vegetables, which he and his partner Nee harvest regularly from the land, hence significantly reducing their grocery bills. Check out some of their mouth-watering dishes too. Local greens and fresh eggs for breakfast, banana and breadfruit pancakes with beige and honey, vegan cabbage rolls and garden greens, gooseberry pie with breadfruit flour. And Fraser's experimenting goes way beyond the kitchen. Earlier on this year, Fraser just completed an eco-luxury villa in the heart of Eight Hill called Sugar Water. Sitting on 25,340 square feet of land, Sugar Water is an energy and water efficient net zero villa which incorporates sustainably sourced materials in its intelligent and stylishly functional design. Through the construction of this home, Fraser is yet again setting an example that luxury and environmental stewardship can go hand in hand comfortably. Welcome to Sugar Water. 10 out of 10, Fraser. <laughs> you haven't seen it yet. One of my favorite parts of the house is the thriving organic garden where Fraser teamed up with Justin to create an amazing edible landscape, all without chemicals or pesticides and a heavy reliance on companion planting. Okay, these are Bajan cherry hedges that are just about to blossom, is that correct? Yeah, some of the ones. So down in here we have some strawberries. So you know, you don't have to go to the grocery store anymore. You can actually just uh, go down to soil conservation down in Haggett's and you can buy these little uh, cuttings from strawberry plants and grow your own. Of all the fruit that Fraser has growing up here, the strawberries are the ones that have me the most because, again, I always understood strawberries to be cold climate fruits, um, but clearly that's not the case because he has them growing up here. Pineapple, look at that. Right, so we're looking at the veggie part now. So we've got lettuce. Yeah, lettuce, broccoli. We've got um, broccoli. And this flower would be? A zinnia. Zinnia. So you'll notice throughout the garden, um, there's a lot of plants that bear flowers, and those are called companion plants. So some attract beneficial insects, which will eat aphids and white fly. Um, other ones, because of their smell, will deter pests like aphids and white fly. Right. Um, so you, by planting these flowers, you actually create a nice balanced ecosystem. So you save money, you don't have you to buy right, all the fruit. Right, so all the fruit. What we have is like we have our cherry tomatoes, which are just naturally kind of trellising up the rocks here. And we have a couple for Claire to try. Mm, that's really sweet. <laughs> you just could tell eat my tomatoes. So when you have these things growing and they provide an income, you actually reduce your expenses on your house. So you, you actually get a cash flow coming in, so it can cover things like land tax, um, it can cover things like maintenance, um, painting, so uh, these sort of things save you money over the long run. Moving towards a sustainable, achievable, viable and environmentally friendly future can only be a reality if we come together to share knowledge and practical solutions to the challenges we face every day. Fraser and Justin will be organizing free organic farming workshops at Staple Grove Plantation St. David's Christchurch. For more information, visit www.ecostructurebb.com or contact Fraser on Facebook at Ecostructure Barbados. Happy World Environment Day. Here's to thinking, eating and saving our way to a better future.